Hello YouTube, this is Omnison here with another episode of Wargame Airland Battle. Today we're continuing the 90 Dima struggle against Soviet forces. And yes, it's another battle in and around Malmo. Now, if you remember the last struggle, it ended in a disappointing draw when I was just 40 points shy of crushing them for good. And this time around it's going to be a lot harder because as you can see they've got a lot more morale. So they now have, I have to kill 4,000 points to win which isn't going to happen. Once again I only have a couple of harpoon tanks, very basic supplies, no real anti-aircraft defence. So actually destroying them isn't going to happen. So once again we're going to have to play this as a purely defensive game. And also, we have no initiative whatsoever. They have quite a lot of initiative. I think they can call in more than double our initial reserves, which isn't exactly helpful. So, we're going to take some drastic actions. The first is no FOB, simply because yeah, I don't usually use the FOBs in a 20 minute battle. It's probably more efficient just to call in supply trucks. I never really use the FOB that much. So, we're going to concentrate primarily on defense. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to start off by getting two groups of Rimas. The first will cover the north part, the... Yep, that is north, okay, and then the second will cover this part. Luckily in the last fight, we actually managed to capture a good amount of territory, so we can deploy troops in a good number of areas. Which should help. So, we're going to deploy some Milans here. And a bit of recon. Here. Actually, I'm not sure, but they can come down that hill pretty quick and then they'd be... Yeah, that's not a good idea. Okay, we'll deploy them here instead. They've got good sidelines up to this hill and down across the road. So we'll deploy the anti-tank guys here. We'll also deploy two Rimas in this area. It's a good crossroads. And then another two here. Uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of him. As we'll need two in here. That seems about right. So pretty much the strategy is simple survival to hold Copenhagen and Kalmar at the end of 20 minutes and of course lose as few units as possible because this fight could drag on. It, well actually it is going to drag on further. So the simple basic uh, strategy is infantry and key choke points across the map as well as 180 km force here to defend against any units coming down from the south and then most likely they'll take the same line as um, yesterday's fighting which is coming down through Bravo and into Charlie so we'll have to defend that as it comes that's where that's just the command vehicles in the woods just to help out a bit uh, let's deploy it here so we'll, so we'll be holding Kalmar and Copenhagen, which doesn't mean we'll have the economic advantage because we'll get more income than they will, but they have a l much l more initial points to spend. So pretty much if we can hold off their initial attack, things should go well. So let's start. Load, 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 load. You guys move up here. We're actually going to move the VABs somewhere else, just so, because they've got machine guns, so they'll be more useful as a defensive unit. So we'll place VABs at strategic points. Actually, these guys I want to move up here. Artillery rounds already been fired. VABs back here. So the first priority I want is recon. Oh, look at that. The battle has just started, but for some reason... They, their artillery knows exactly where my command vehicle is. Thankfully the AI is too stupid to actually use this to its advantage and just deploys random smoke. Uh, so that, that's that's nice. Luckily the, yeah, the demons have a lot of reserves. Like for example I've got 20 of these recon keeps to call on so... Hopefully we, they'll have enough forces to continue. Now that is weird. They lost control of Hamstad for a few seconds. Hmm. It's weird. So yeah, this 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 road is pretty much where I'm going to be concentrating my defenses. 
I'm running actually quite low on Remus. I mean, 19 sounds like a lot, but infantry can get killed quite easily if you're not careful with it. So let's buy in some more of these guys. So what we got? We got some Berzakas and some kind of command tank. I'd like to go after that, but anti-aircraft. What are you shooting at? All these guys are in the open. At least they could take him. Might actually get by in a uh, little harpoon tank. No, that's a weird thing. That's, that's stationary, but why is it not taking the sector? Oh, it's been. These guys are being shot at. Back up. I don't want, you, I don't want you getting killed this quick. Alright, the Berzak is back here. Get, I told you to move to this section. Get it. Get it. Okay, it's not on the move. Now it's wait a second, now it's stationary sad. Oh no. My goodness. How get it how is it spotting these guys? Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tanks. Usually ATKMs are a good way to scare off stuff like command units. And I don't I don't want them to hold Charlie because then they'll be able to deploy stuff. That's another target. I I want to keep them out of Charlie and Golf and Echo. Bravo, I think they can probably have if worse comes to worse, but ideally I don't want them in it. Okay, so you regroup up with the, these VBs. Harpoon come up. You should actually be up here. I don't want two recon in the same spot. Oh yeah, artillery. I was using artillery in the last game. Might not have access. I'm going to bring in just one gazelle hot. Right, move the harpoon into range. They've got captured Delta. Thankfully, he's dri driving into this guy. These guys range. Okay, stop. Fire on the command vehicle. Command vehicles also are a good way to get, get these guys good levels of experience very quickly. You know, because command tanks are worth such a huge amount of points. These guys are now veterans, and seen as they're an ATKM vehicle. How veteran they are is it makes a big impact on how efficient they are. You guys head up here. And I want you guys to regroup with these guys here. See, ideally I want some kind of keep cannon vehicle to take out these keep units. I don't want to be using ATKMs on them, but I don't think... I've got an SA-50 and I don't know if that's a good gun or not. I could tell them to turn their ATKM off. I'm sure. What's that? Let's... Oh yeah, the recons have got cannons. That that could work. Right, so we'll keep these tanks in reserve. I'm gonna sneak this recon up a bit here. Do I gonna do? I'm gonna get some mortars. Support. Line of AML 60 mortars across the ri river. Turn off your AD cams. They seem to be fine at nothing. And elsewhere, things seem to be going okay. These probably aren't the most exciting battles. What are you shooting at? BGRs, right. Actually, I'm gonna turn. Yeah, turn your AD cams off. I'm gonna buy some infantry. I was I want to as if those BDRs drop something. I want to be the first to know about it. It's infantry yeah, infantry. Oh there's some infantry already here. Let's send them in. Berzakas. Those are just More BTRs. Fortunately, they're not really pressing their advantage much of them. They haven't even killed a single one of my units left yet. Wow, that's out of range already. Uh, it's not too hard. I'll move these guys up to the very edge. Let's buy some more supply trucks. French don't actually have that many supply trucks. So the BGRs are running. Don't have any recon helicopters, do I? No. What was I thinking? 
I'm just gonna move these rumors up up a bit. Okay, you guys are on the very edge. No, you can't. Oh, more really have low range in this. Let's get you guys into the here while we're waiting for the AI to do something. Although I'm gonna have to remember to capture Charlie and Golf before the time limit expires. You can combine Urks again, gets to act as a mini tank. I mean, I've got 12 of them. And it's got good optics. Probably handle the bird attackers. Alright, let's regroup. Actually, no, two groups of two Remas probably is a safe, safer bet. Stops them getting bunched up. So we're bringing the Urks again in as a. pretty much a mini tank. Z because obviously the harpoons AGKMs make them too valuable to risk taking out low value units like that. Of course, the Urks again is worth twice as many points as them, but I'm not really measuring it in terms of points. I'm measuring it in terms of what they can do. And an AGKM tank is a lot more useful than a recon unit because I've got tons of them to spare because I've got like 20 of these keeps. So, an Urks again is, is an acceptable loss. Right, so they've got AA infantry that the gazelle's far enough away they can't they couldn't touch that. Let's fire some mortars on these guys. I'm gonna buy an a uh, VAB PC. I guess once extra income, you know, it doesn't hurt. And it's just so I don't I don't have a last minute panic. <laughs> 